what's going on everybody? Well, welcome you guys to an edition of the Horror Movies, or oh, sorry, Movie Phantoms Horror Review. It's a little late, I won't lie to you. Uh, as you can see, I'm joined by my special guest, Billick. What's going on, my man? Not much. Dude, we just got back from Fear Fair. It's an awesome haunted house. Badass as hell, dude. Loved it. Freaking loved it. I, I ain't ashamed to admit it. I jumped a couple times. What about you? Yeah. Every step of the way? This guy. Uh, it's alright. Freddy got us both. I ain't gonna lie. Freddy Krueger scared the shit out of both of us. So, yes. Popped out of nowhere. Oh, dude, popped out of nowhere. They weren't playing around Fear Fair. So, uh, anyways, uh, as I said last week, oh, I also want to apologize for the delay. Uh, yeah, internet provider was uh, just, it was down. So, normally, like I said, I always film the shows on Saturday. And then, uh, Sunday nights, I usually upload them, you know, so usually by Monday morning, they're up and ready to go, and this one didn't get, I don't think I uploaded this thing until Wednesday or so, Wednesday or Thursday, so yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of the uh, feedback, and about, you know, it's understandable, because it didn't come out until real late or anything, so, I want to apologize to everybody, but uh, yes, tonight is the first night we're going to try, we're going to do something different, we're changing up the format a little bit, as you can read right up there, this is a part one of four, so yes, we're going to try it out, shorten it, little segments, and uh, hopefully everybody will quit crying about it. So yes, we are going away from the big block, the big 40 minute block, and we're going to break it up into four different parts. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing intros to every effing thing. So there it is. So, all right, well, Billick, uh, last week uh, we did the uh, question of the week. I had Misery Black here. I want to thank Misery Black. She's, you know, MIA this week, but her spirit's still with us. So, you know, that's all that matters. Uh, but we had the question of the week last week. It was, uh, what is the top three uh, movies, favorite movies, horror movies, with a number in the title? You know, shit, I'm literally, format's throwing me off. Uh, before we get into that real quick, I'm sorry, let me go ahead and just uh, mention, as if you guys can't read what's above us here, uh, two movies that we're uh, reviewing this week. We got Exorcism of Emily Rose. And uh, the other one, don't have a copy to it. Uh, the Ninth Gate. So, boom, there we go. And speaking of Ninth Gate, because it has a number in its title, the question was, what is your top three favorite horror movies with a number in the title? So, uh, we got one one comment back. Once again, understandable. You know. uh, Cynical44 hit me up, and he said uh, his top three, he said he was trying to go different than what I said, because I, mean, I did kind of ramble off a lot of them last week. Or not really a lot, but I guess I hit some of the mainstream ones. So he said he was just actually just trying to get ones that were different than, you know, what I said. Uh, number three, he threw an 8mm, and then he wrote in, like, I know it's not really technically a horror movie, but, you know, it's a thriller, and, you know, it's dead body and snuff film and everything. And I, I'm all, I mean, honestly, I ain't going to bitch when I got, like, one person replying back, you know, I'm not going to be like, what? 8mm? Bullshit? You know, no, you're, no, no, throw it in there. Uh, I mean, it does have Nick Cage in it, and that's just atrocious enough, so, you know. Boom. Uh, his number two was House of a Thousand Corpses. And I ain't gonna lie, I can't believe I forgot that. Like, literally, yeah, it's up there. I don't know if it's my top three or not. Easily number four, though. So, yeah. And then number one, he said Session Nine, which I did a review for a while back. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, good movie. So, thank you, Cynical44. So, this week, I'm not gonna lie, like, I always try to get the top three, I've said before, to reflect the uh, movies I have. But I already did like your, you know, top three uh, Satan slash ghost slash demon whatever movies. And we just did number movies, so, you know, what else can I do? And actually, it came from this guy right here. Uh, he helped me out uh, a long time ago. I will say it might have been the very first episode. First or second episode. I uh, threw out, after I only had one question. Like, what was, like, your top one, you know, uh, your favorite horror movie? And, uh, yeah, threw that out there as a single. But it hasn't been touched as a top three. I'm like, you know what? Since the uh, Phantom is clearly just running out of ideas, it happens. Uh, throwing it out there. What is your top three favorite horror movies? Uh, Billick, buddy, you got three favorite horror movies? No. You got one favorite horror movie? Yeah. Oh, you're killing me here. What, what is it? Throw it out there. Friday the 13th, the remake. Like the remake? Yeah. I love the remake. I ain't gonna lie. You like it better than the original? Have you seen your, you have seen the yeah. original, okay, I'll say, yeah. Uh, so you want to throw them in there to fill up your other three spots? Yeah. Okay, well, what three Friday 13th movies do you like? I'd say the remake, uh, Jason, Freddy, Jason X, and... I like Jason X. That movie gets shit on a lot. Like, a lot of people hate that movie. I loved it. I thought it was great. I 
favorite Jason. Your favorite Jason, I know when people shit on that I really like. That's actually one of my favorite ones. All right, you know, respectable list. If you might give you shit on here, I'll, I'll, I'll back you up on this one. Don't worry about that. Uh, for me personally, I gotta say my top three favorite horror movies. At number three, I would say uh, The Shining. Flat out. I mean, I might even give reasons. I mean, come on, I'm just gonna say them and that's it. Boom. Just end this discussion. Uh, number two, I would say uh, Night of the Living Dead. And uh, number one, come on, Halloween. Come on, I really even, yeah. So, uh, yes, I want you know, I want you guys out there, you know, throw out your top three. Now, that's, I mean, that's tough. Especially if you're a horror movie fan. I mean, there's this, there's millions. Thousands. Are there millions? I'll say thousands. I'm afraid if I over-exaggerate and say millions of horror movies. There are maybe a million horror movies out there. Might. Might. Fuck it. Either way, uh, give me your top three. Narrow it down. And, of course, you know how you can hit me up. Uh, you can, uh, boom, video response. That's a big uh, thing that Misery Black likes. Uh, comment right down below. Leave it down there. Uh, of course, all my phantom friends over on Facebook can hit me up there. I've been getting private messages lately, actually, too. That's another thing everybody's starting to do. So private messages, you know, sure, whatever. And, of course, I don't have Misery Black, you know, bust my balls this week about it. MooFam7 at gmail.com. So there it is. Multiple ways to hit me up. You know, leave the thing. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be it for this segment right here. So, uh, you know what? Stick around. We're going to bust out here in a second. So, uh, you going to stick around? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear. All right, you know what? We'll catch you guys here in a bit.